Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful paper orchid flowers and I'm giving away these templates for free on the blog so be sure to visit the link below this video if you're watching on YouTube directly because you'll want to be able to download these. The supplies I used for this project is my Cricut machine, a light blue Cricut mat, wire clippers, floral wire, distressed ink and sponges to blend, a glue gun, corsage tape, a wood dowel for curling, and then I chose cardstock in pinks, purples, yellows, and greens. You can hand cut these if you do not have a Cricut machine. I began by cutting out my orchid templates using my Cricut machine. You can use scissors if you do not have this. I placed the cardstock onto the light grip mat and then loaded the um, paper into the machine when the machine prompted me. I did this for all of the colors. So I loaded them into design space and then I cut out each of these um, pieces on my Cricut machine. <clears throat> repeat this for all of your colors, all of the templates that are included. And once again, you can hand cut these if you do not have a Cricut machine. This part's optional, but I used some distressed pigment ink and a small sponge to add some color to the center of my orchid blooms. You can um, try this with some different colors. I like to use a dark pink on a light pink or a light pink on a dark pink to create sort of a different effect. next step is to shape the petals. I gently crease down the center and then I curl back using my wood dowel. I do this for all of the flowers and um, all of the orchid petals themselves. For the center of the orchid, I also curl those inwards using my thin wood dowel. To assemble, I place the small two-point petal on top of the three-point petal, right in the center there. Then I go ahead and I glue in my floral wire right at the center of my orchid, and then we're going to assemble the orchid center right on top of the orchid itself so that the um, wire is nice and secure. So I add that little yellow center on top of the pink center and then I glue the whole thing into the center there of the orchid blue. And that wire is nice and secure there now. You're gonna repeat this for anywhere from three to maybe six orchid blooms. I use my thicker floral wire and I cover it in corsage tape so that it's green and it looks natural. I trim down all of my orchids um, to size so if they have longer stems, you might wanna trim them down. Go ahead and prep a bunch of corsage tape and we're going to start at the very top and we're going to add each orchid bloom to the thicker floral wire using our corsage tape. You're just going to work progressively. If you made smaller orchids with your Cricut machine and then larger ones, you want the larger ones to be towards the bottom and the smaller ones towards the top. and you can continue progressively down the stem until you've added as many orchids as you like, or if you only want to do some that have just a few at the top, then that's fine as well. You can add leaves if desired. There are some leaves included in the templates. I just like to curl them a little bit with the wood dowel and I'll add some at the base, using a little bit of glue to press it into that floral wire, and then add a, another one on the other side to mirror it and hold it securely. That's it. That's how we make a beautiful paper orchid flower. And you can visit the blog post below for more details and supply links.